Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a video of firsts because I wanted to um, review some new products that I picked up and give you guys a full like get ready with me glam look and also like a first impression and all of that. So the first thing I wanna talk about that we're gonna use today is the new It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. I just got this and I purchased this by myself. Um, this is totally my own review. I'm not sponsored. I picked up the color light medium. Now, normally I wear the light in the CC cream and I was kind of thinking along the lines of what's going to take me now into like spring and summer because the weather here is already starting to change. It's getting warmer. It's not as dark at night. So I wanted to think ahead. It might be a little deep on me. We'll see. But then again, sometimes the light feels a little too light. So we'll see. Um, first thing I wanted to talk about is what is the difference between both? Because both are moisturizers and both are foundations and both claim to be full coverage, cream-based. Both have your full physical sunscreen of SPF 50, UVA, UVB. Um, both clinically tested. So um, there's quite a bit of similarities. What I have seen and read um, from It Cosmetics itself is that if you have color correction issues like redness and all of that, um, if you have pore problems, then this is probably the better of the two for you. But with that being said, um, this one claims to, you know, have like a 3D flex. It really molds to your skin. Um, it's supposed to have like no lines, no streaking, no caking. So there's benefits to both. Anyway, sounds a little confusing. To me, it sounds like the same thing, but we'll see how it wears and we'll see what it's like. So with that being said, I do want to apply a primer. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply my Touch and Soul No Pore problem primer <laughs> no pore problem primer it's a smooth pore covering top secret for perfect makeup and I do really like it and I use about a pump and a tiny little half pump and I just kind of emulsify it onto my cheeks and my nose because that's where I tend to have the majority of my pores and then I kind of spread it out wherever I have some product left over. Now I am super red today because I did a peel two days ago and my skin is kind of still calming down and healing from it. Probably shouldn't be putting all this product on, but you know, I got this in the mail and I had to try it for you guys. I literally wanted to do it together. And also what I've been really into is I use the No Poor Problem. And then I received these samples of Scandinavia's Makeup Primer Spray. And they were not sent to me. They came as samples with a purchase of a setting spray. So um, just want to make that clear because this is all my own purchases and my own, you know, um, review for my own benefit, basically. But um, this is just a fine mist, oil-free paraben free um, base basically primer and you're just going to shake it before you use it and then go in an X and a T formation. Then if you like me, I'm going to go a little extra. So we're going to let that kind of do its thing and while that kind of sets, I want to talk more about the um, Bye Bye Foundation. It looks just like the CC cream as far as the packaging goes. So I guess that's kind of cool. Like it is keeping with their, you know, same kind of look. Um, it could be a little confusing personally. Um, it says it helps prevent sunburn. CC cream says the same thing. It's the same amount of ounces. It has the pump style as well. So that I like about it. And everything's kind of really, really similar. So I'm curious to see how this goes on and how it wears. Without any further ado, let's get into it. And I've seen um, a lot of the IT reps talking about pressing and buffing this in. So I'm gonna use my flat edge airbrush foundation. Let's do this. I am gonna do, let's do three pumps cause that's about where I am with the CC cream. And it'll probably be too much anyway. <laughs> so. 
Okay, right off the bat, it smells just like the CC cream, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. It has that same kind of citrus oil scent. I actually do like the color. We'll see how it goes like once it sets, but the color itself is really, really nice. Um, it's got a mixture. I think it's a little bit more of like a golden neutral. And I'm just pressing it in, you guys, and kind of like buffing it around like I would the CC cream. It really does smell just like the CC cream though. I should have done CC on one side and Bye Bye Foundation on the other just to like see how it goes. Maybe I'll try that next time, like do another video where I compare the two. But I'm gonna grab a mirror and look up close. So the actual foundation up close is sitting on my skin very much like the CC cream. And with that, I mean, it definitely has a thicker feeling on the skin. It definitely does feel very hydrating. What I am noticing with this is you can actually see the thickness to it, unlike the CC cream, which does kind of melt into the skin. It is kind of hugging my pores and it's actually breaking up a little bit on my nose. So I'm gonna try buffing a little bit more in and then going in with a beauty blender to kind of soften the look. Cause this says it's not gonna settle, it's not gonna crack and crease. However, I'm seeing it settle already into my pores. But right now it kind of feels exactly like the CC cream. So I did read that you could use this as just your moisturizer and foundation in one, but I personally am very happy with my skincare products, so I really wanted to stick with them. Um, this foundation is definitely streaky with the brush. I'm seeing it like clump up and all this stuff the beauty blender is helping to tone that down and just buff that out so i'm definitely gonna have to set this foundation it's pretty shiny okay so you guys can probably see that glow now honestly i like a glow so this would probably be a good like moisturizer for me. I don't honestly feel like it's as full coverage as they're making it out to be. I feel like I'm gonna need to powder and work with this and also really um, bank on my concealer working. So yeah, I don't feel like it's as full coverage as they say. You can still see a little bit of pink and redness. However, I did do a peel, so it could just be me. Um, but it's very, very luminous. And I think that this is gonna be a really good foundation for people that want a very medium buildable coverage and that want a lot of glow and moisture. So this is probably gonna be more of a running mom errands, not really putting on a lot of makeup foundation for me, which is very much what my CC cream is. Now I'm gonna take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and this is any color fair neutral. And I'm going a little more heavy handed with my concealer because I feel like I didn't get enough coverage with the Bye Bye Foundation. So I'm going to hope that my concealer will help kind of aid with this. And I'm going to be using a G38 from Morphe just to kind of go in and buff this in a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender and just blend this together. Okay, so I think the concealer is definitely starting to save the look for me. It's adding that little bit more coverage I need. 
and kind of just brightening up in some areas. I like the ColourPop concealer is really, really nice. And for the price, you guys can't beat it. And I like the way it's, you know, kind of going with the rest of the look. So with that being said, let's set that. And I'm going to use my RCMA Original No Color Powder. And I'm going to pop that on our Real Technique sponge. On this little fun sponge with this flat edge. I'm gonna go in a little heavy and set quite a bit because I feel like this foundation is not gonna last me all day because of the amount of glow and dew and moisture in it. Um, when you're dry, that glowiness, dew and moisture will really kind of suck in and adhere to the skin. But if you are kind of normal skin to oily, it may have a better chance of sitting on top. So just kind of working with the powder to really help melt it into the skin. Yeah, moving onward. So um, another thing that I wanted to talk about today that I picked up is I picked up some ColourPop and obviously you guys saw that I used the concealer and I picked up a Super Shock Shadow, which is ultra glitter in the color Revolution. And it looks like this. And the thing is you really wanna keep the Super Shock Shadows closed real tight because there is a little bit of moisture to them and you don't want them to dry out. Um, so definitely make sure you do that. And then I picked up some Luster Dust and this is in the color Sugar Trap and it's basically just a loose highlighting powder. You can use it like mixed into foundations, you can use it all over, um, you can use it on your body, wherever you want just to have that additional glow. I'm gonna use it more as a highlighter today and um, I wanna incorporate those also with my Magic Palette from Juvia's Place. And I feel like the colors here are just really pretty, these pinks and purples and the neutral tone here, just to kind of work in the crease. And I think that'll help pop that revolution quite a bit. So let's get into that. And I'm gonna take an Anastasia brush, the A12. And the first thing I wanna do is take the color um, Kessie, which is kind of like this off-white matte color, and we're just gonna place that all over the eyelid. Now using that same A12 brush, we're gonna dip into the color Nana and just work that into our crease. This is really like a nice warm brown. And now I want to actually just go right into the ColourPop Shadow Revolution. It just gives a really pretty kind of wet look to the eye. So I'm going to pop that on an Urban Decay eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to wet that down a little bit first. Just to give it more pigment. Now we're going to grab that color. And you'll see when you work with these shadows, the Super Shocks, they're almost like jelly-like in a way. So um, it's just a different kind of pigment. I can't explain it. It's really crazy how this color looks almost like dark in some spots and then purple and then silver and pink and others. Like it's really a different kind of color. All right, so I wanna add a little bit more definition to this look. Okay, so going back to the Magic Palette, there is some really, really pretty deep colors here. Um, this one is, I think it's Elf or LFE, I don't even know. LFE, it's a really deep, matte rich purple and then there's also a matte rich blue so i kind of want to take a mixture of both of those and i'm going to do this on a tapered crease brush from it cosmetics and i'm going to tap them out and i want to work this into the corner of my eye for this look because that crease color is really really light and i feel like with a color this 
pretty and glossy, we need a little depth. This is either going to make or break our look, you guys. And as you come up into that lighter brown color, just make sure you're circling and buffing this color into it. So now we're really glowing, you guys. So what I wanna do is go back in with my A12, just a clean A12 with nothing on it, and just kind of bring this back and forth just to kind of buff out a little bit of that darker color. Now, we're gonna go back in <laughs> to Revolution, and I'm gonna hit it with more setting spray. And pop that into that lid space but let's keep it in like the first three quarters so that this way we can keep that smokiness and another thing I want to do is go back into the magic palette and grab this color I think it's fast faso faso and it's like this really pretty kind of bluish purple I want to grab that on that same flat brush and right in the middle here where you have the dark and then you have the kind of revolution right in the middle there where it would transition, I wanna pop this color to add just a little pop of like a bluish purple to offset some of the kind of pinkish warmth that's in revolution. This is definitely a more smoky look, but I like it. All right, now I'm gonna clean up underneath my eyes with a little bit of setting powder and with whatever's kind of already left from our bake. I'm gonna take a small detail brush. I believe this is from BH Cosmetics and it's really tiny, like a small, tiny pencil brush. And I wanna dip it back into those two dark matte colors, the blue and the purple, and underline my lower lash line with it. Now I'm gonna grab my Heavenly Luxe brush from IT Cosmetics and just make sure I dust off any remaining bake that's on my face. So to add a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with my NYX No Filter Powder and a Morphe Flat Edge sponge. And I'm gonna start pressing this underneath my eyes. And really pushing this into the foundation so I can get nice and bright under my eyes and also get a little bit more coverage. And I'm actually going to do my contour and my blush off camera since I want to try to chop this video down as much as possible, but we'll be back to do our highlight together. And also I want to talk about this um, brow pencil that I got from ColourPop. This is um, just like a skinny, ultra skinny brow pencil. And I believe this is in the color black and brown. So we'll be back to do that. For contour today, I'm using my Makeup Revolution London Pro HD Powder Contour for light to medium. Okay guys, so I am really nice and bronzed up. I did my contour, all of that is set. So I wanna go in with my highlight and I'm gonna take my ColourPop Loose Highlighter. And again, this is the color Luster Dust. And I'm just gonna make sure we get a little bit into the cap here. And I'm gonna put this on a Morphe M51 and I've dampened it just a little bit as well. So you're just gonna turn your head and find kind of that highest point of your cheekbone. And we're just gonna buff this in real gentle. That's really pretty. Also gonna bring it up here as well, right by the arch of my brow. Now moving onward to brows. So I mentioned that I had picked up this um, skinny pencil from ColourPop and I really was curious to try this just because again, it's so affordable and I like a really fine point. Sometimes I like to work with dip brow and like a thicker brush, but then other times I want something really fine point. So um, it comes like this in a dual sided tube and it has kind of like your brow is type of formula 
very fine point, very affordable. I think it was like five or six dollars, this thing. And it also has your spoolie brush on the other end, very lightweight. So I'm just gonna comb my brow hairs down and then comb them up so that I can really collect the hairs and get them nice and ready to go. Now I've been doing my brows a little bit straighter across. So I've been kind of like coming in here first and wherever I have this gap, just kind of working with it. So right about here is where my arch is. And I'm just gonna come in and make this straighter and then we're gonna go in and kind of like fill in this gap here where I don't have a lot of hair. That I just kind of go in and just comb a little bit to disperse some of the color throughout my brow. And then come into the front by your nose and just make sure that you have a good starting point for each brow. I'm gonna come in and pull these hairs downward. Now I have the base of my brow down, so I'm pulling my hair down. And I wanna fill in any kind of gaps that might be in the top portion of my brow. So starting here at the front and just kind of very gently, I'm holding my brow pencil far away so there's not a lot of placement, but I'm just kind of going diagonal and filling in any gaps that I see. Guys, so <laughs> these brows are fierce, you guys, intense. I feel like I have Patrick Star brows right now. So what I wanna do is actually like add some lashes, I think, to offset the wild brownness. I'm just kind of going in with a beauty blender right now, smoothing out my face. But yeah, I wanna add some lashes, and I picked these up. I've been really into the Kiss um, lashes. It says, bring the salon home, Kiss, and this is the Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection, and um, this is what they look like. This is my um, House of Lashes Tinkerbell glue. All right, so the lashes are on, and I just wanna go ahead and put a little bit more mascara on my bottom lashes. Take concealer. I'm gonna use my lip pencil from NYX. This is in the color Nude Truffle. You're very brave. On top remaining, no home training, cause I misbehave. I come correct and full effect of all my holes in check. So for lipstick, another new thing that I purchased through ColourPop is this awesome ColourPop lipstick, and this is in the color Boy. I love the detailing on this and the tiny little stars that are inside the actual lipstick. It's so cute, and I love, love, love this color. It's such a beautiful, beautiful nude. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look, and it is very vampy, very smoky, very over the top, but I do really like it, actually. If you guys could see it, the lashes are intense. Definitely much bigger than lashes I would normally wear, um, if I wear any at all, but I don't hate it. I think I feel like a little bit more fierce, a little bit different. Going back to the foundation, which was definitely the key point of today's tutorial, um, Bye Bye Foundation. I'm looking at it right now, and um, I actually really like the way everything layered and played out. The little bit of redness that was in my skin actually created a really nice glow and almost looks just like a really pretty kind of flush and a blush, um, so I don't hate it. Um, the color shock 
or Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop is super, super pretty. It's not picking up so much because my lighting's not so hot, but I will take a picture and show you guys how that looks. But the colors are just really pretty, very cosmic, different. I like it getting away from the warm because I'm kind of really feeling cool tones lately. Um, the brow pencil, I really do like. It's dark. It's a little bit intense and big for me. I went a little crazy, but I wanted to try something different today. Um, and the glow powder, I really like. So yeah, this definitely gets a thumbs up. Luster Dust uh, Sugar Trap is the color, and that definitely gets a thumbs up. The lipstick, I really, really love. It goes on. It's a very creamy formulation. It's a perfect nude, and I actually do have a ColourPop Lippy Pencil BFF that will match it. I couldn't find it before, but I kind of like a little bit of like the truffle natural color from NYX because I think it pulls the color down a little since I am a little more olive. Um, but yeah, overall, I really do like it. Um, as far as whether or not I would pick CC Cream versus the... Um, Bye Bye Foundation. I'd probably just stick with my CC cream, but unfortunately, if they do end up taking CC cream out and putting in Bye Bye Foundation, it does stink because you are gonna miss that, you know, redness correction. It's not quite full coverage like they say, but um, both are really nice, really great to wear. I think if you're going for a more natural, glowing look, then that's definitely more for you. But if you're full coverage and you cake it and bake it like me, stick to your like Lancome, Tinny Dole, Maybelline, Superstay, Huda Beauty, all that fun stuff. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and I will list products in the information box as to what I used. And until next time, well, next gonna contest me. I'm just a flat and see who's top of three and very brave. On top remaining, no home training, cause I misbehave. I come correct.